Hello there, Eruner here and today we will review my onions. My, my onions are led by Mestless Hero, which is a missile hero. It is an archer unit with a lot of archer abilities. The most useful ones are right here. So it's pretty good to use in the combat. Then there is inf the roster of this faction is split into two. There are Myonians and Hittites. In order to show it to you properly, I will use campaign and campaign buildings instead of the custom battles. One interesting uh, distinction between diff other campaigns as is this in this campaign you are going to choose between two rosters you have two rosters in one we are starting with the myonian buildings and myonian roster you can upgrade it to mid tier and then to late game alternatively you can uh, decide to go for Hittites instead and they offer completely different unit roster. Right in the campaign you can choose between two rosters or maybe unlock both of them. So let's start with the Myonians. As the, in the early game you have the Kopesh Warriors. They are very good against spears still early game units N they are not as good uh, frontline or, or for holding like the others but they are able to melt enemy spears easily uh, next unit is the light swordsman they are perfect flankers maybe not so fast as the fastest ones uh, but they have pretty good stats and weapon. And for missiles, they start with the Myonian skirmishers, pretty decent stats uh, and weapon and range. And they also have 50 speeds, which makes them pretty good at skirmishing. On the mid game, we are going to use horse archers. Finally, some faction uh, with the horses or cavalry and this is missile cavalry you can vanguard deploy it it is throwing javelins that's why the range is quite small but their javelins are pretty heavy they deal a lot of damage so they are very good to use next unit is the kopesh veterans upgraded version of the early game version it is similar to standard kopesh uh, but without flanking defense it is able to melt enemy spears easily then we got myonian runners which stay keep the 50 speed they are very good flankers and quite higher attack than other units. For the missiles we got um, Myonian Javelin Men which have pretty good shield and good javelins and a lot of ammunition for a javelin unit. In the late game you upgrade your Kopesh to Myonian Kopesh Masters. Finally some Kopesh unit that is not uh, that is quite good, quite solid, especially against spears. Otherwise, it would be so so. Since they are heavy, they are very slow and they don't have extra abilities. Then, Myonian nobles, they, they are much better flinkers. Now they have a stalk, very solid weapon, very good and offensive attack and defense stats so they are able to win duels 
quite well and also some javelins for extra. Then we got skirmishers. They are still keeping quite high speed so they are useful in the skirmishing even during late game. They got much better melee stats and solid weapon compared to previous version. And they throw standard uh, solid strong javelins. From. So these are pretty solid. And very last we got the chariots. A medium chariot. Finally some medium chariot. It has better weapon than most of the chariots. And other stats are not so impressive. If you decide to go with Hittites, you will be using Hittite warriors in early, which have terrible stats and terrible weapon, but you can utilize flanking defense improved. So this is the cheapest unit with flanking defense. So you can make a messy battles and in such situations when everybody is flanking everybody, these Hittite warriors are going to be excellent. Next unit is Hittite Spearmen. This is a standard spear frontline with expert charge defense and pretty good weapon. So they are just like regular Spearmen but faster and with expert charge defense. So you can be doing your frontline tactic as usual. For missiles, we got Hittite archers. They are quite weak and short range, but they can uh, skirmish thanks to battlefield healing. You can skirmish for a while, go back, heal up, and then you can come back again. So this is this makes this unit valuable for skirmishing. In the mid game you are going to have better units. Hittite veterans have uh, much better stats and finally better weapon. They are good for flanking or preventing from flanking thanks to defense improved. Then you go with the spearmen. Yes, Spearman is your standard front line with solid defense, expert charge defense. You can absorb enemy charges easily. And one special ability to make them hold for more. They are getting additional defense when they have half or less HP. So this makes them very good front lines. Then we got uh, Hittite Armored Archers. They have pretty good range and good damage. You can use them for skirmishing very well thanks to their battlefield healing. And quite normal stats. And in the mid game you are able to unlock Hittite Archer Chariots. Missile Chariots. Uh, compared to other uh, Missile Chariots, these one finally deal good uh, missile damage, missile damage output. They are able to shoot quickly and many arrows. So that makes them finally valuable unit in the Troy. In late game you are going to use Hittite Nobles which are perfect thanks to immune to flanking. With this ability you can flank or be flanked without problem and their weapon is even better against swords and spears. Instead if you want frontline to be even better, Hittite Noble Spearman got even more defense, a very strong weapon and they are able to absorb charges and there then we have the two extra abilities. One is for more melee defense so they will be holding for longer and when they manage to uh, lost around 80% HP they will go full berserk. This 
Berserk will make them unbreakable. They will they will refill their stamina. They will have back their defense and other stats full up again. So these are very hard to kill. As for missiles, we go with uh, Hittite Noble Archers. They are well armored, quite heavy, tanky. Uh, they are able to do nice damage from the standard range. And for skirmishing, their battlefield healing works well with their armor and HP pool. Very good to use them. And for chariots, we got very strong Hittite heavy chariots. These are stronger than standard chariots. They have uh, very high stats and slightly less unit models just to make them a bit fair all right now i will show you both of the rosters in action and first one will be the myonians so let's have a look how you can play this faction in the mid game So Myonians have the Kopesh front line. Uh, you can have a really quite wide line of your Kopesh. They have advantage against spears, so it will be a good match for us. And since our hero is a missile unit, we are going to use him for flanking and ambushing. Here we got one unit of the runners, which will be useful for flanking. Since our Kopesh is a better unit than Shielded Spearman, we are able to comfortably engage and wait how the battle will unfold. Enemy unit, enemy hero is having Armored Spearman, which is the endgame unit. But you will face this in the campaign quite often. Our plan is quite simple. We will use our hero to help others. We will do our best with Kopesh against enemy late game spearmen. And our runners, flankers, will be able to deal easy work against missile units. Since enemy got spears, we will be able to win these battles easily. We can use our hero to do more damage. And just wait. And wait. They are going to rout, run away. You can keep grinding. The javelin unit is pretty good at skirmishing, it, not just because of the shield, but also thanks to very strong weapons. Alright, so this battle will be victory quite quickly. Always remember to use this Kopesh against Spear units. And your only missile support is ja our Javelins. Victory is close enough to taste. And now I will show you the the Hittite roster. Hittites play slightly differently. We, we also have the standard front line and in this time we are not going to utilize flankers. Since our missiles are having a lot of armor and HP, we, are, we can just go ahead and start skirmishing, start uh, trading missile damage right away. That's why I'm going to, to 
focus on enemy renowned slings, which are the biggest missile threat right now. Usually slings uh, are able to counter my missiles, but since I have two solid missiles focusing on these slings, we are able to win this duel quite qu quickly. Then Hittite armor spearmen are able to absorb the absorb incoming charge and if the if they will hold for long they will get extra defense. Since Hittite's got a lot of armor we are able to go ahead and start battles right away and outgrind enemies. Meanwhile these archers are pretty good de dealing a lot of damage quickly. Absolutely recommending to use them in the campaign. Then we got last missile unit against us. And after that we are, we are able to use our missiles to support our units. So, to not hit shields, you can uh, shoot from to the side to deal extra more kills. Or you position your archers to the backs to deal extra damage to the to enemy rear. Uh, our hero is taking missile f damage from the enemy slings, but we got a lot of armor and HP. We are able to Victory ignore that and continue supporting our frontline units. So this is going to be quite easy win with your solid units. And just for curiosity, when we compare our Hittite armor spearmen, they have around half HP. Enemy hero has also around half HP. And we have won quite easily. So, let me show you also some numbers. Frontline is comfortably grinding. Even this one was fighting the stronger opponent. It was holding well, got XP thanks to to the long fight. But our missiles did a lot of uh, value and our hero did as well. So we were able to wipe out enemy missiles and we could rely on our spearmen. So that is all. See you later.